What's going on ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Jerry Matrix, and welcome back to Is It Worth It? Um, today, as you guys can see, we are covering, covering the Naboo Type 2, the Stitches variant, because that's the only variant that you can currently buy right now. And uh, yeah, from the last time I played, which was the M38, I believe, the lucky one, you guys actually really liked that video. So today, I, well, over the course of the last couple months, a couple new weapons have come out, but I haven't really found interest in many of them, and I haven't played World War II in a little while. But I recently started playing because of Ares, which is my new team I'm in. They've been kind of, you know, not making me, but like promoting me to play, I guess. You know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, I bought the Stitches variant, or yeah, the Stitches variant for the Naboo Type 2 because it looked pretty good. This is an SMG, and obviously today we are going to, or I will answer the question on, is it worth it? Now, I don't remember how much it costed overall, but I just know that this was, I believe, uh, 12500 8900 and then 500 and so and so and kept going. So this was a really expensive variant, but I was lucky enough to get this in a supply drop, which was the highest one. So yeah, I will show you guys in the firing range how the weapon fires and everything. I have played it a little bit. I've unlocked this I think like a week ago, but I haven't made a video on it because, well, I didn't have time to. But here I'll take off all the camo, or all the camo, all that related stuff. This is how the base gun looks here. Ignore the, uh, what do you call it, I have on my gun. Because that, that I put on all my weapons. But yeah, this is the inspect animation. Here are the iron sights, I'll look up to the sun so you can see them better. You can't really see them, but this weapon does not have that much recoil as it is. So, this is me, this is me shooting and controlling it. And then this would be me shooting without controlling. So, it's not a, it's not a bad weapon, I mean, obviously it's not meant for long range attack. But it is for medium and close range, which is what the weapon description says, if you'd like to read that. Um, automatic SMG with low recoil, moderate fire rate, and mid-range combat capabilities. Its damage is 5, range is 7, accuracy is 7, and rate of fire is 6. Has 30 rounds in the mag. But yeah, that's how it looks. There's a couple other ones too. The Second Horseman, the Dragon 2, the Wraith, or Wrath, however you guys, I think it's Wraith. And then the obvious Naboo Type 2 or Nambu, I'm not sure how you guys would like to say that. But yeah, I have unlocked a few attachments for it which I have been using. I will show you guys what those attachments are. And then my reticle, which I use this one. But yes, this is the weapon with grip. Um, this is me controlling it with grip. And then this would be me without controlling it with grip. So there's a pretty significant difference with and without the grip. All right, now I'll take you guys into a multiplayer game to see how it works against other people. And yeah, I'll play. I'll be playing three games, and then I'll tell you guys my verdict of the weapon. All right, so I'm going to be playing the zombies-related modes, which are with this. It's called uh, Attack of the Dead or Attack of the Undead. But yes, this game mode is Horde Point. It pretty much just has normal. It has zombies, like normal zombies and everything. But it also has. Um, or it has zombies within the game mode, and then, you know, you still play against other actual players. But yeah, it's actually a really fun mode. I've really been enjoying this, actually. But yeah, as you can see, it's actually a really fun weapon to play with. There goes the real zombies. They count 10 points towards your score. I'm gonna get fucked here. No, I'm not. I'm getting shot from behind. But yeah, if you die, it doesn't count as, like, a point for the enemy or nothing. But yeah, like I said, this weapon is actually really good. I have not tried this in zombies yet. I want to, but sadly the problem with that is you need to get it in zombies. And while box luck, box luck with DLC weapons is kind of iffy, I got killed. This is weird. It doesn't feel like there's a lot of people around. But yeah, this is a pretty quick killing gun. I mean, I wouldn't say like two, three bullets MWR type kill. I mean like maybe four or five shots kill somebody. With a lot of zombie getting in the way, obviously. Oh shit. Uh. Now obviously it doesn't take much to kill a zombie. Also, by the way, I'm sorry if you guys hear like a 
what sounds like a like a fan going off on my mic or something. My vent for like our AC in the house is like right below my right below my setup. So if you guys hear that, I'm sorry. I don't have anything to cover it with, and I don't want to cover it because if it does get hotter within the next hour or so, I'm recording. I am not trying to die. I did not see that guy right there. That's another thing, if you guys didn't know in the game mode, uh, Tesla guns drop when you kill zombies, and they are extremely overpowered. And when I say that, I mean extremely overpowered. They are, ex like, really annoying to bump into, because they do explosive damage and splash damage, which, yeah. And it blinds you if you're close to them, which I can show you here. That's not the right thing. So if I were to shoot it... Yeah, it, it's really dumb. I don't like it at all. It's weird, I'm not really bumping into people normally. I think it's just because this map's a little bit larger. Because I'm trying to show off the weapon, but I can't do that if there's not many people to show it off to. Like I said though, as you guys can see, it's actually a really good weapon. I have used this a lot within the last, I'd say, couple days or so. So like, I already have a verdict on if this weapon is worth it, which, you know, you guys will find out. But yeah, um, but while we're playing this though, I'd like to see what you guys want to see me get next. I got fucking murdered right there. As you guys can see, look at this. That was a splash damage kill. That was bullshit actually. But um, I want to see, I want to know what you guys want me to unlock next. I do already have a couple of the DLC weapons, but I did not buy a variant for them. So I have the, uh, that was fucking bullshit too. But... I do have weapons like the uh, the M81, which I think that's what it's called. It's the um, LMG that also came out with the uh, M38. I have the uh, GPMD or GPMG, I meant, which was one of the first DLC weapons to come out. I have the Sten. I have um, pretty much I have a lot of the DLC weapons that came out already. I have a Type Type 38, I believe, which is the new sniper rifle or one of the new snipers. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see me get the new DLC weapons, I can. Like, you know, I could do videos on those. The only problem is I didn't actually buy the variants for them. So I wouldn't want to say, is it worth it if I got it from a supply drop, if you guys get what I'm trying to say. So if you guys want me to make videos on those kinds of weapons that I already have but only got them through supply drops, let me know because, I mean, I'll show you after the video which ones I do have that were DLC weapons. But yeah, I don't have any weapons, or most of these weapons I bought, or not bought, but most of the weapons I got were actually in a supply drop and not through buying the variant that's in the collection. And another thing is I haven't tried some of the weapons in actual multiplayer. I've tried some of them in zombies, but that's because, you know, zombies, and I can't really say that a weapon is worth it because it performs well in zombies. Come on, give it to me. Oh shit. That was disgusting. Actually, maybe I'll just play this one game because a lot is happening and Horde Point is a pretty long game to play. Yeah, I think I'll just give a verdict after this because nothing is I don't want this video to drag on, especially if it doesn't need to. Because, I mean, you guys have seen this in action. I mean, I could show... Yeah, never mind. I could show a couple more things, I guess. I got the blown up by grenade. But... Yeah, so as you guys can see, this is actually a really well-performing weapon, and a lot of stuff is happening on the screen, too, because this game mode is actually really fun, and it's really hectic as well. But yeah. Ah, shit. That's another, that's another cool thing. But yeah, as you guys can see, that the weapon is very, very good. Um, I'm assuming it's going to get patched soon, and I mean that in a bad way, which sucks because I really like this weapon. I don't want it to turn into a, like how the Orso was the first time that came out. That was absolutely terrible. So yeah, anyways, this weapon, guys, I would say 100% that this is worth the, I want to say 22 some thousand salvage that you need to pay for it. Um, that is a bit pricey though, especially for the weapon, just being, you know, something that you can get out of a supply drop, but... 
if you want to get the weapon right away, and I believe right now, and I feel bad because this is exactly what I did on the M38, there's only a few days left to actually get this. I believe it said seven days. I'll check for you guys. Yeah, the Attack of the Undead. It ends in seven days, so if you guys want to get this, you guys need to get it quick. Uh, the green does not come with it, by the way. Again, that's just my... Um, what the hell do you call it? It's my paint job I put on my weapons. The normal gun, I think, right there is just more kind of like blood-looking effects and whatnot. But yes, I do suggest you guys get this weapon. It's very, very good. As of right now, anyways, I'm assuming it's going to get patched where it has more recoil and maybe less damage or something. Because right now with the grip, it's pretty pretty straight as a shooter. But yeah, so this is, this is definitely worth it. And... Um, I need to know what you guys want to see next because I can make this video or this kind of video more often considering I do have a lot more DLC weapons. I can show you guys the weapons I have. Um, I just got this in a supply drop. It was the Femme Fatale version. So if you guys want to see a video on the Intraverse, let me know. Um, I do got the M2 Carbine as well, which is a fully auto version of the uh, normal Carbine here. But again, if you want to see it, let me know. I don't know if you guys would care about the Volkstrom. Again, I got this through supply drops because it's such an old weapon. But yeah, there's the Volkstrom, the M2, the Intraburst, the Naboo, the Orso, the Sten. Which, yeah. Um, the GPMG, which I have this variant for. The M81. Or is it the MG? Yeah, the MG81, sorry. I got the Untamed for that. Snipers, I have the Type 38. I was thinking about buying the lever action, but I don't really care for the PTRS in all honesty. And yeah, I'm not getting the blunderbust. But yeah, so let me let me know what you guys want to see as a video because I have used most of these weapons already. So if you guys want to see them in action, I can show you. Uh, but the only again, the only problem is I can't really tell you guys like like a hundred percent if it is worth it or not because a lot of these weapons are all of these weapons actually I got through supply drops this was actually a challenge I got it from which is I really actually wanted this and completely this is yeah so if you guys want to see a video on any of these weapons let me know in the comments or Twitter or anything like that I will link my Twitter and everything in the description just let me know if you guys want to see these weapons as a video or even if you want to see the type 5 the sterling the stinger PTRS, lever action, or even the blunderbust, I will try to buy those variants. The only problem is, again, the PTRS variant is ending in seven days, and I don't think I'll have enough to buy it. So I think we're going to have to say no to the PTRS this time around until I get it later. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.